guys, I can't believe I'm doing this face to camera. I can't, I got, I ha, I need lipstick. It's not you. It's me. I have to, I can't do it. Uh, I won't <laughs> guys. Okay. Vulnerability. Admission. You know, sometimes when, uh, you've got the desire to change, but the willingness isn't there. That's uncomfortable. What am I talking about? I'm so happy. Uh, PTSD treatment is, you know what I mean? I wouldn't call it peaceful, but it's, I'm alive and well. So of course, the happier I get, the worse the OCD gets. Harm OCD, I'm going to get hurt. You're, yes, it usually is a car, but I've got a better one. My chest hurts. Honestly, right behind my heart. What's this? A vape. Do I have a desire to stop sucking in oil that is uh, making it hard for me to breathe? Yeah, the truth is, I would like that. But do I have the willingness to stop vaping? Nope. That stagnation, you know what I mean? When I quit, when I went from smoking cigarettes to vaping, which I call quitting smoking because vaping is not smoking, but it's a problem. Um, it took me five years. Well, here's the thing. It took me five years mentally to be ready to quit, but I quit overnight after smoking every day for 21 years. So I've seen, I've seen transformation before. But guys, I imminently expect my demise. I've got the GP appointment. We'll go scan the lungs. You know what I mean? But if it's not that, it's going to be something else. I, if I get cleared, and I've had a lung scan before, but if I get cleared again, you know what I mean? Well, I'll, I, will, I, will, I will stay ready and alert for the willingness to come. But until then, I refuse to live in fear because, guys, we had a very close friend recently who got colon cancer, never smoked a day in her life. She's already passed, right? I refuse. I won't continue to live in fear. I'm not for self-destruction. I've put a lot of work into supporting my own life. However, part of that uh, arrival point has been the freedom that I'm just not going to live it. I just refuse. So um, it's got to go into creative energy where's where's the uh where's the levity i will turn this into creative energy how well i think that's going to flip us really closely into service which is all i can do and we're landing on wild swing guys you won't believe the storyboards that i'm going to have for you shortly wild swing going from liability to asset right okay well what is it like to be unwilling my first thought goes to uh, being in the service meeting, remember, the grandpa service meeting where I go, I go into, uh, it's the homeless. So donuts and donuts, right? They identify with, some of them are, are uh, taking fentanyl and the harm reduction model means, well, you're not there to prevent them from taking it. it. It's you're there to give them the choice. Which needle do you want? This one or this one? And this is the difference between the two. So you're meeting them where they are. You're not going in going, don't take the fentanyl. Even though, yes, their friend just OD'd in the safe. You know what I mean? They know that. They already know that. They're not taking the fentanyl because they don't know that they could overdose. You know what I mean? So what I'm saying is, that window, right, to meet someone where they are, I watch, uh, we're calling it the Diana funnel, guys, we're going to be churning out, remember how we said this is a writer's room, and we're churning out the funnels, which are the little uh, digital assets, uh, the little companies that these underdogs are creating. So it's all happening. And the wild swing, guys, the first one is Matthew's funnel. It's the wild swing. That's what I'm launching. You're going to be with me. It's happening this week. But what I'm saying is the biggest launch is I feel that choice 
as to how I'm going to live. Whereas before it was a groundhog day. You know what I mean? I don't love constantly anticipating my demise. I'd love to have a spare moment where I just enjoy, enjoy being happy. But you know, I don't think that's my nature. I think the best I can do is creatively redirect. So I'm on the wild swing. This is me swinging, right? One, two, three. I've honestly, I've missed talking to you guys. The longer I go without doing it, it starts scaring me. That's why I turned the camera on, right? Admission. I can't believe I put this much work into my recovery and then keep vaping and risk getting cancer. But that's where I'm at. Levity. I'll meet myself there. How can I turn that? into a, that's a liability. How do I turn that into an asset? Well, I'm working with the willingness I have, right? Brought in the doctor, got that. Service, redirect, use that unwillingness. How does that person, the fentanyl client walking up, how do they feel about that, right? I, I'm there in that moment. I'm meeting them as somebody that understands unwillingness, right? And here we are meeting in the moment together. That's where we're going. Honor and a privilege. I will see you again. Okay.